I don't make a habit of working on a weekend. That's the town of nature, dying. Uh, Waterman, yes, I'm a uh, transport consultant for the government. Um, it's my job to act as a liaison between SPM, Asia Pacific and the government uh, of Victoria and the Transport Minister in particular uh, to advise on the timeline and make sure that everything to do with the contract that's been awarded to this firm, that uh, the timeline's being met. So uh, it's my pleasure to uh, welcome you today as a visitor and investor from uh, interstate and overseas. Uh, we'll be taking a short tour of the site. So if you'll come with me, um, we'll start right now. And I'm not trying to make a statement by including this uh, Blackburn War Memorial and make out the trees are also got a few saved and recording your voice or anything. Like I will record your voice but the footage I'll wipe over it. And it's only like I just want to. So there it is. That is what used to be what used to be one of the best views well the only view in all uh, it's Waterman here by the way. In my humble opinion one of the best views in Blackburn. And I can, as you can see it is gone. It is trashed. It is that's it, it's all over. Uh, for Blackburn as we know it, it's, we're done. That is done. Um, so we're documenting this today. Um, during this uh, early, early in the winter season, uh, behind Morton Park is where the action is today because uh, I tell you what, there's a lot of very unimpressed locals, uh, a lot. And, uh, Frenchie, I think I've got to get on camera, Frenchie. Frenchie, just pan around there, thanks. No, look, no, don't give me any of that, that French lip, uh, and don't curl it. But, uh, look, that's, that's it, that's the devastation. That is the destruction of the community. Community aesthetics. And that's forever. And... You know. So, Frenchy, uh, if you can just focus for a second, please. Uh, so, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be giving you a tour, an exclusive tour of the uh, the destruction, the cutting down of these uh, cypress trees. And it's at this point that I have to declare conflict conflict of interest, which doesn't happen to old watermen very often. But uh, there's a big conflict of interest. And, uh, some stakeholders have uh, been briefing me for the community. They like a forum and they like. Um, we're going to give these people that this sort of devastation, this sort of uh, devastation, the Melbourne known as the Garden State, oh, Frenchie, you had too much coffee, known as the Garden State for a long time, it's not our tagline anymore, but are we, are we going to be the Garden State for much longer with all this going on? I don't know. I don't know. Um, you know, the question has to be asked, and uh, and I'm asking it on behalf of you know the community of Blackburn, which will resonate through other communities that are going to experience these changes, like Murrumbina and Clayton, and as we've read today in today's age, St Kilda Road and the devastation of trees around there. Now, fair enough, but at the same time, what is what is the community consultation going into this and uh, why is Vic Rhodes hiding behind websites and social media? Where are the, where are the public consultation sessions, Vic Rhodes? Because that's not, that's not how we roll at STM Asia Pacific Construction. We want to consult the community, work with them, and that's not how Waterman rolls either, I can tell you. But according to those that are the experts, these trees pose a risk to the public after these works have been completed. What the community wants to know is how. It's, uh, 
it uh, ends our tour for today. Um, we hope you've uh, enjoyed this uh, insight into uh, the government's, uh, the state government's preparation, uh, that the, your investment money is being spent. And uh, um, if you need any answer more questions, my name's Waterman. Um, you can contact me via the Department of Transport or SDM Asia Pacific Construction. That, uh, we don't believe these trees should go, and the, and I don't believe these trees should go. Now, for those uh, keyboard warriors on social media who uh, just love ramping up their uh, John Fain type rhetoric with uh, I've got to wait 20 minutes at level crossing every morning, glad to see them go. Well, guys, it's, there's more to it than that. There's, there's a certain enjoyment for life that we get from our public parks and the ability to walk around this, this nature um, and enjoy these. Now, we're going to be running some commentary and editorial later on about the proposed Fox Hill to Ringwood shared user bike path. Frenchy? Yep, for another coffee? No? Frenchy Cad? Oh, forget, forget him. Ah, oh, Frenchy, you just love those arty shots, don't you? Now, the reason these are being taken down, and we'll quickly summarise, is that the contractors for this project have been, it has been published that the contractors and the authorities, the Level Crossing Removal Authority, and it's not the, uh, it's not the opinion or the, uh, it's not the position of STM Asia Pacific Construction, it's hard to believe and swallow that those trees can't that these trees can't remain because if you cut those trees back and you drop the pylons which are going to go you can see those white sticks which represent the edge of the wall that why can't the roots remain of these magnificent trees yes they they can be brittle they're subject to being brittle as uh, more supporters go on path to glory, who is playing today? I don't know actually. But there you go. That is the site that the good residents of Blackburn are now confronted with, and it's not a pretty site at all. They look like giant toothpicks waiting to be plucked out of the ground to be put in somebody's mouth, and the only mouth they're going into is the thresher. They're going to be cut up into wood chips, and that's the reward they get for pleasing us aesthetically to the eye for all these years. Thanks, guys. Anyway, Frenchy, but sometimes you just got to cop it. And I tell you what, there's a lot of people, a lot of gnashing of teeth. The Blackburn Tree Preservation Society, which was started in the 1950s, and who are a non-profit group who are local residents have made it their mandate to save, to save and protect our heritage, because this is our heritage that really, is this what democracy is? Where the government just shrugs its shoulders and go, well, well bad luck. Stakeholders, partners of uh, STM Asia Pacific Construction, it's Waterman. But, uh, let me tell you that if you're gonna be partners with STM Asia Pacific Construction and the Victorian Government and Infrastructure Australia and Infrastructure Victoria. We've got to turn that into a uh, efficient, economical, practical state train corridor, rail corridor. So there you have it. Experience for yourself firsthand. The transport integration. Train, tram, road. If that's your first experience, on Melbourne's public transport infrastructure system, can you believe how efficiently it all integrates together? Uh, what you see behind this door is some ongoing work, uh, preparatory work, where each of the metropolitan uh, the works have already started. I'm showing you uh, just pictures of trains, I've got them to be trains, but no, what, what you're seeing is evidence, evidence of the contribution we make to uh, the Melbourne transport uh, infrastructure. And, uh, and here's the people that benefit from it, basically. Um, we're surrounded by it.